has apprehended a 19-year-old boy for allegedly upgrading the scores in the recent unified tertiary matriculation examination from 153 to 290. Helena Samede Akins takes a look at this issue and many others that sprung up to mar the just concluded 2019 UTML examinations. The 2019 Unified Tertiary Matriculations examination was marred by a series of irregularities that left hundreds of candidates unable to take the examination. The irregularities included biometric failure, poor network service and cancellation of examination centers. The board complained that the examination witnessed malpractices which caused delay in the release of its results despite its efforts to forestall such practices. This 19-year-old candidate is alleged to have engaged some fraudsters through Facebook and WhatsApp platform, having come across an advertisement that claimed it could upgrade his 2019 jam results. He fell for the trick, quickly contacted the numbers and requested that his scores be upgraded from 153 to 290. After transferring some monies to the scammers, he then wrote a letter to the examination body informing them that they made a mistake in his scores earlier released. He also sent copies of the forged results to JAM office, which upon investigation by the board was found to be fake. They have, been there. They have seen their results, so I went to check my own. My own was they returned my own, and I, I post something that I haven't seen my results. And one man has said that I should impose him, that he helped help me and check it. So when the man had chat with me, he said that uh, he's going to help me and check it. Then on Sunday, I'm in the church. He said that I should send him 2000 so that he will help me and, and check it. She sent it to me through WhatsApp. He did not, he did not do it. I called him. He did not pick my call later. He now he blocked me on WhatsApp. His number is no more going again. Me, I don't know that it's a fake result. He did not only patronize those guys. He was actually part of the syndicate. Because on his phone, there were other people that also solicited for such uh, upgrading in court. And he also collected money from them, also fake such results and also gave to them. So you could see some of, them, some of them were even cursing him and so on. But when, when they went to the system, they discovered that the result they had before still remains what they had, and it didn't change. The board says it is making efforts to ensure that the fraudsters are apprehended and made to face the law. The first step we've taken now is that we withdraw the result. But we've also written to the security agencies to see how they can track. The president is, uh, is being prosecuted, he's been prepared to debrief for prosecution. And we've also written to the security agency beside prosecuting him to get those other people that are also working in hand with him. The board is still releasing the results of the 2019 examination in batches to ensure it's carefully scrutinized the scores. Helen Osamede Ekins, TVC News, Abuja.